Hello guys, it's me Simo Orohara and in this video we will talk about Yumichika's Bankai and what it might be. This video will also be a good occasion to talk about Yumichika's Zanpakuto as a whole and to clarify some of the fallacies that some fans fall into, believing that the relaunch of Yumichika's Shikai is the Bankai and that's wrong. And I'm also sure that those who don't know on what basis Kobo built the shape and the strength of Yumichika's Zanpakuto will greatly enjoy the information I will provide. And so guys, let's talk about about all these things. And let's start from Kobo's interview before the start of the final arc. And as I explained in a previous video about Kira's Bankai, Kobo mentioned that Yumichika is among the good characters by choice to have a Bankai. That's why the possibility of Yumichika releasing Bankai was included in the final arc, especially since Yumichika has all the characteristics that makes him a Shinigami possessing Bankai. And the thing that I like the most about Yumichika is that Kobo has been building his Zanpakuto's ability since the beginning of the story and that's why Yumichika is considered to be a good developed character in terms of presenting his Zanpakuto's abilities. So in chapter 147 when Yumichika was about to confront Hisagi, Kobo showed that the first launch of the Shikai is not the real one but rather hides the true strength of his Zanpakuto because the Shikai's true strength is a Kido type which was not in the line with the adopted 11 squad fighting policy that is based on direct combat. In that fight, Kobo deliberately hate the true ability of Yumichika's Zanpakuto, but he hinted at it after he showed us the end of the fight uh, that happened between Hisagi and Yumichika. Hisagi said that Yumichika's Zanpakuto took all of his Riazzo, and this is what a clear foreshadowing of the mechanism of Yumichika's Zanpakuto ability, which we knew about it in detail in chapter 321 in the battle of Yumichika against Charlotte. The nice thing about Yumichika is that he manifested all the meanings of a peacock. He is a person who loves beauty and loves to be beautiful and sees beauty in many things and these things are found in the peacock the peacock bird uh, is characterized by its beauty and stunning colors and all these things make the peacock a symbol of beauty and self-love and so Yumichika's obsession with beauty was manifested in his Zanpakuto and for those who don't know the name of peacock in Japanese is Kujaku and the full name of Yumichika's Zanpakuto is Riru Kujaku which means the azure peacock and the word azure refers to a color that is between blue and cyan and this color is what distinguishes the neck of a peacock as you can see in this picture the neck of a peacock is distinguished by this color and this is why Yumichika Zanpakuto loves it and if Yumichika calls it by that name it will release its true power but Yumichika deliberately doesn't call it by that name so he wakes it up with this order Blossom Fuji Kujaku and Fuji means wisteria and this name is the name of one of the shrubs that are distinguished by their purple flower. So the Zanpakuto of Yumichika doesn't like Yumichika calling him like that. So instead of showing his full strength, he releases part of his strength so that the Zanpakuto flourishes and the sword become four swords. Thus the Shikai appears like this, which enables Yumichika to fight as he likes but not with his full strength. So what happens when Yumichika's Zanpakuto is released by its real name? What really happens <laughs> is a funny thing, because the way uh, Yumichika's real Shikai displays its power is the same as the way a peacock does when it wants to attract uh, the attention of females. Watch guys this section of this video. <laughs> And if you notice, the peacock, when it wants to show off the beauty of his feathers, it screams. Then it raises its feathers featured by those spots who are like eyes. And this process is almost the same as when Yumichika does the launch command cheer in frenzy, azure peacock. So that we see those traits coming out of Yumichika's Zanpakuto, which are the same ones that are found in the peacock, as well as those spots, and those spots are like eyes, and those eyes the same as the flowers that are found in the Rei Shikai of Yumichika. Therefore, the peacock's scream in, in this way is parallel to the launch command cheer in frenzy and the show that uh, the peacock makes after it is the same as what a shikai does to get around the opponent in this way while the flower blossoms by absorbing the opponent's riazzo it can be considered as the completed uh, operation of the fake launch ability of the of shikai that we saw in the first uh, release so it can be said that kobo relied a lot on the behavior and the nature of the peacock in yumichika's zanpakuto formation therefore it is possible 
possible that the Bankai is related to this bird, whether or not Kobo borrowed some of its characteristics as an animal or that he will depend on the legends that were said about this bird. I personally have done some research on the symbolism of the peacock in several cultures, including Japanese, Chinese and even in the Greek mythology, and I found a common link between them is that the peacock symbolizes immortality, so it is linked to the phoenix. In Chinese culture, for example, some consider the peacock an another incarnation of the phoenix and also in the Greek mythology there is a story that the peacock was associated with the goddess Hera when her watchman uh, the hundred eyes giant Argos was killed she put uh, those 100 eyes on a peacock's tail that's why the eyes of the of the peacock's tail are considered the eyes of the giant Argos by the Greek mythology but the thing that the most cultures agree on especially in Japan is the peacock's immunity against poisons the peacock eats poisonous plants and that usually kills human as well as its ability to kill snakes in some areas it's called snakes killer so I think that Yumichika's Bankai may be providing the latter with immunity against poisons and even curses and to be clear, the Bankai may be an extension of the abilities of the Shikai with more power or it may be like Hisagi's Bankai so that the Zanpakuto fulfills Yumichika's desire and Yumichika's desire is to have a Zanpakuto that can fight head to head against an opponent not as a Kidotai and we notice how he'd rather die than be seen by the 11 squad mates fighting with the Kido Zanpakuto but at the same time, Yumichika can't sacrifice more than what he adopts uh, as a life principle or as a lifestyle which is beauty so I imagine that the Bankai will be formed like two wings of a Kido that distinguish Yumichika and have 100 eyes and a formed blue crown will adorn Yumichika's head reflecting his beauty values and in exchange for a sword that enables direct combat the Bankai will abandon those traits that bind the opponent in Shikai so that Yumichika will have a glowing sword that has the ability to receive the opponent's attacks whatever they are and uh, the 100 eyes will turn those attacks into Riyatsu making Yumichika more powerful and his strikes become more deadly the more attacks he receives from the opponent and as I said the Bankai will make him immune to poisons because this is the greatest uh, ability of the peacock that's why I think Yumichika could have been a real counter for both Asken or even Gizel and I believe guys that Yumichika's Bankai would have been uh, impervious to poisons so I imagine that any fight against Asken or even Gizel Yumichika wouldn't have suffered because of his Bankai's ability a Bankai that absorbs attacks and turns, uh, and turns them and to its favor and has a powerful cutting ability because of his glowing sword and above all the Bankai protects Yumichika from poisons. So guys what do you think of my theory? How did you found the informations that I told you? And see you in my next video.